Welcome to XM.com for today's Daily Market Comment by Mario Sajikiriakos. I'm Cristina Marujos. Risk aversion gripped global markets once again on Wednesday after several American states reported another worrisome spike in virus cases and hospitalizations, pouring cold water on the cheerful narrative of a rapid economic recovery. New infections in California, Texas, and Florida, three most populated states, reached daily records. Hospitalizations are also rising fast in several states, amplifying the risk that lockdown measures will need to be reintroduced. Markets naturally sank on the news. The S&P 500 closed 2.6% lower, and futures point to another 0.4% loss when Wall Street opens today. The dollar was the biggest beneficiary, while commodity currencies and oil prices were hit the hardest. Separate news that Washington is considering fresh tariffs against European products added gasoline to the fire. It's quite striking that the latest wave of risk aversion came about just as the Fed's balance sheet stopped expanding after several months of explosive growth. The central bank's heavy-handed intervention is probably the biggest reason for the dynamic recovery in stock and bond markets, so even a small contraction in the Fed's total asset holdings can have large ripple effects. The latest contraction in the Fed's balance sheet is due to technical factors, which implies that the balance sheet will continue to expand overall, but for now, we may be going through a period of reduced liquidity that augments virus fears. The European Central Bank also just announced it will set up its own facility to provide liquidity to non-euro area central banks. European stocks cross back into positive territory on the news, while e-mini futures tracking the S&P 500 recovered most of their earlier losses. As for the rest of the day, the key driver will be the U.S. virus numbers. Further signs that the outbreak is accelerating would be a negative catalyst for stocks and a positive one for the dollar, and vice versa. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for watching at XM.com.